This will be a short tutorial on creating and receiving a purchase order in CounterPoint SQL. Uh, I've already got CounterPoint open, so I'm at the main menu right now, and I'm going to go to Purchasing, and Requests, and Enter. And this will create the purchase order. Um, you can assign your own numbers, but I'm just going to use Auto Assign for this tutorial. And uh, it'll automatically drop me down to my vendor line once I have a number in there. And I'm just going to pick Callaway Golf as my vendor fills in all their information and it's going to go to my main location but if you had a multi-store environment you could set an allocated PO to go to all your locations or just a couple or ship it to one specific location um, and from there I'm going to go to the lines tab and I'm going to put in an item number one thing that helps is to set a filter or a column um, by going to the options and going to column designer and I'm going to add primary vendor and go OK. And then I'm going to save that using options again as the default setup. So whenever I open up this screen, I'm able to search by vendor using the keyword. So I can only find items that that vendor carries and it'll make it a little quicker for me. So I'm going to go ahead and add this item. And I'm going to say four of those. And I'm going to use the tab key to scroll across and it's going to add that line item. Let's go ahead and add one more and I'll say three of those and I'll use tap. And if I want to I can add some miscellaneous charges right here but here's my total so I'm going to go ahead and save that by posting it. And posting will save the PO for me automatically. And I'm not going to look at any of the journals. Um, if you want to practice this, you can look at the journals while you go through it to see different information. So now I'm up back at the main menu, and let's assume all the stuff has shown up, so I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, Purchasing, Receivings, and Enter, and Receive the PO I just made. So I'm going to auto-assign the receiving number as well, and here's my open PO that I just made. So I'll go OK. And this information I'm just going to leave at default. Um, so if I don't receive anything, it'll put it onto a back order for me. And all my quantities are going to default to uh, what I expected to get. So I'll go OK. And here's my receive date. And I'll go to my lines, and there's, there's my line items. If I make this bigger, I can see my line items here. Um, so from here, I can print it. Um, I can add a miscellaneous charge still if I need to. But I'm going to go ahead and just post it. I'm not going to look at any journals. And that's it.